I've got my match day pass. I'm inside the home of Kelty Hearts. And finally, yes, I get to see them play at home as opposed to away. I've seen them twice away, but yes, I've got another match day vlog today. And welcome to the video. Please do hit the like button before we start. Look, here's the setting for today. I've been here from the outside for a video once before, but today it is Kelty Hearts against Gretna in the Lowland League here, Scotland's fifth tier. Kelty Hearts are on an amazing run, and uh, yeah, they've won seven or eight on the bounce. Barry Ferguson's got them playing really well. They've just loaned a lad from Hibs. So yeah, things are looking up for Kelty Hearts. We'll see how they get on today. It's probably gonna be a good game. Here he is here, the Kelty number 10, scored and got an assist in the last game I was at with these two down at Gala Fairy Dean Rovers, had a great game. And just before the game kicks off, I just do need to let you know that this video is sponsored by One Football. Whether you, and there we go, kick off, the music's still playing, there we go. One Football is the best app out there. There they are, look, the game has kicked off. One Football is the best app out there for keeping up to date with your team's news and for, uh, and for following any clubs, players, countries that you have a genuine football interest in, it will be the first link in the description box below. So yeah, do go down there and download it. And if you do download it, you're supporting my channel. They might want to sponsor me again. I can make more videos like this one that you're watching just now. So yeah, if you want to keep up to date with any Scottish football news, you can go in there, find Scotland as a country, star them, and get all the latest news updates. And even notifications on, yeah, goals, red cards, beginning of matches kickoff times all that kind of stuff so yes top quality app i'd really recommend you get it you'd really be supporting my channel thank you very much so yeah just been handed a team sheet here as you can see and the number 10 dylan easton oh he's uh yeah had a great game in uh, the last match i saw kelty hearts a goal and an assist and the number 11 today ryan shanley he is the man who is on loan from him i think he was here before like earlier this season, got an injury, went back to Hibs, and now he's back here playing in the Lowland League again. So yeah, I'm loaned from Hibs in the Scottish Premiership to the fifth tier here, Lowland League. Um, we'll see how he gets on, but yeah, Kelty have got some good attacking players. I was just about to update my Insta story, I turned the camera on and as you saw there, I don't know if I caught it or not, but I will show it obviously if I did. It was a foul, the ref's given it, the Gretna officials along here aren't happy. Callum Higginbottom with the pen. Oh. Banging penalty, 1-0 to Kelty Hearts. And it's 1-0 here, yeah, four minutes in. Remember last season it finished 10-0 here. Kelty already got through with the chance. It, to be honest, from here, it looked like he got the ball. I'm not gonna be able to look until later on. I don't know if it was a foul, but yeah, it's uh, it was given anyway, and now it's 1-0. And yeah, one of the things I've noticed about Kelty Hearts, when they go ahead, they keep the ball really well. So that, they've done that in a few of the games now that I've seen them gone ahead, kept the ball, and then look comfortable. Uh, Gretna have had a free kick and a chance. It's not like it is all Kelty Hearts after their goal. And to be honest, they've not done a huge amount since they've scored. But yeah, when they do have the ball, they do seem to keep it fairly comfortably, which uh, goes to prove, I guess, that they do have some of the best players in the league. They can knock it about with confidence when they go 1-0 up. Back to the next 
honestly, what a move. I was just saying about how well they keep the ball and they've just pinged it about good amount of passes in succession. And it's now 2-0 to Kelty Hearts. And it is Nathan Austin. There you go, number nine, Nathan Austin. He, uh, I think he scored a brace in the first game I saw. He's at Cumbernauld Colts. He's now scored again. I believe he's the top scorer in this league. And uh, yeah, he's some player at this level. And it was a great finish and a great team goal. And it is now 2-0 to Kelty Hearts. Yeah, if you've not seen my Gretna video before, they, um, this Gretna now were formed in 2008 and are a Phoenix team of one of the older forms of the club. There's been a couple over the decades. And uh, yeah, the ones before them got up into the Scottish Prem, almost won the Scottish Cup, got to the final, and even played a UEFA Cup qualifying match. But yeah, they went bust, went out of business. This club was set up in 2008, and now they compete in the fifth tier, the Lowland League. So quite the rise and fall this club have had. And it's the Hibs Loney on his return to the club who's just scored. It's 3 0 now to Kelty Hearts. How long in a week? 42 minutes, 43 minutes, something like that. And uh, yes, they've been very comfortable since going 2 0 up. Uh, Gretna have actually worked their way into the game a little bit more, but Kelty have been so comfortable on the ball for the majority of this half. And they've just made it 3 0. What a finish. I wasn't even expecting it to be a goal because. If I'd have like seen the build up before, or they could score it, I'd have got the camera out and started filming. But um, yeah, no, it was a cross in and a first time finish. It was absolutely class, and I should have expected better. I should have had the camera out, but no, it was a um, it was a top quality goal from obviously a top quality player. It's on loan from Hibs, and what a half it's been from Kelty Hearts. Always a pleasure to watch them play. It's my third time watching them now. My first time at their home ground, New Central Park, and um, yeah, what a team that they seem to be, and. I suspect that they'll be up in Scottish League 2, League 1 Championship within a matter of the next five years. They're absolutely class. Ooh, and it's a free kick on the edge of the box. Oof. I think that could have been a pen. Let's go take a closer look. Could be 4-0 here right at the end of the half. It's a good chance. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. Half time, 3-0 to Kelty Hearts, and what a half it's been for the team from Fife. Time to see what the Kelty Hearts refreshments are like, let's go. So yeah, pie, cake, sandwiches, crisps, and just to be healthy, two little grapes, there we go. Second half has started here, and yeah, you cannot beat hospitality like I just had in there. As you saw, a little lunchbox with a pie, coffee, and yeah, I even had the little grapes to uh, have the little bit of health, but... We've even taken a little tea cake for the second half. Quality hospitality here, that is some of the best I've seen. We've got pie at Cumbernauld, a soup at Gala Fairy Dean, and yeah, like a full little meal here at Kelty Hearts, that is class. But yeah, second half to start here, it's 3 0. Kelty clipped the bar towards the end of that half, remember, and that free kick could have been four. And Gretna have only got two players on the bench as well, so they're already looking, you know, Kelty are already keeping the ball and. It's going to be a long old night for Gretna, they've only got two subs, they're going to be chasing the ball a lot, so yeah, we'll see how this one goes in the second half. Four nil now, and it was Nathan Austin again. Every time I watch him, he seems to have the best game ever. He uh, got released down the middle, had a bit of a race with the defender to reach the ball. He reached it first, got through one on one, and when he's doing that, you kind of know that he's going to score. He's a top quality player, and he's obviously playing with a lot of confidence. He uh, he's always keeping the defence busy, and usually uh, frees up a lot of space for a few of the other attacking players that they have. Oh, it's another pen. Look at that as the rain's coming down now. Really fine rain, you can see it in the floodlights. It's now 5-0 to Kelty Hearts. 
5 0 now. And yeah, Gretna will want this one to end as soon as possible. 6 0 now. And I think the goal scorer is down. Did he collide with the post or with the defender when he put it in? It is 6 0 now. I'm not sure if it's one of the subs who scored, but definitely one of the subs who set it up. Yeah, number 14. Check the old team sheet. Matthew Flynn, yeah. That is a sub, it is now 6-0. Remember last season they beat them 10-0 here. Beat them here 4-0 in the cup, and it is now 6-0. Yeah, there you go, you must be able to make five subs because Kelty have just brought on the number 14. He scored, and he got injured in scoring the goal, and off he comes, and on comes the next substitute. So yeah, Kelty will have an extremely fresh team compared to Gretna now going into the last about 10 minutes of the game. There we go, it's 7-0. It's number 10, Dylan Easton. He's my favorite county player. He always plays well when I see him. To be fair, they all do, and it's 7-0 now. Dylan Easton with the goal. And yeah, he scored the winner, it turned out to be, in the last match I saw him play. And he scored one here, which doesn't matter in the context of the game, but yeah, 7-0 now. And I was just looking at the table then, actually, and uh, Kelty Hearts, yeah, they're ahead of Bonnie Rig Rose. They've got a game in hand, which is this today. So they should go four points clear after this with a good bit of goal difference. They've already got the best goal difference in the league, but now after this, they'll have won 10 of their 11 games, losing one. And yeah, the goal difference is better than everyone. They've only conceded four in 11 games, which is pretty impressive. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I'd be surprised if uh, I didn't see them in the... SPFL within the next, probably next season, I guess, or maybe the year after. Depending on how the playoffs go, you've got to play someone from the Highland League and then one of the teams who obviously finished bottom of the SPFL. So it's not just as easy as winning the league and you go up. There's a few playoff games to play, but I mean, they're good enough to win on the day against anyone, I'd say. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the next couple of years have in store for this team. There we go, 7-0 to by far the best team in the league. The team that should for sure be uh, playing up in the SPFL and will be, I'd imagine, next season. I can't see anyone standing in their way in this division. Then they'd probably have to play a team like Brora Rangers in the playoffs from the Highland League. And then someone from, uh, yeah, SPFL Division 2, League 2 rather. And uh, yes, I can see this team progressing and being a real force in Scottish League football in years to come. But yeah, a really commanding performance. Again, the attacking players of Kelty Hearts were great and they kept the ball so well and were in control since after the first four minutes when they scored the penalty, to be honest. Gretna had a couple of chances, but yeah, in the end, it is uh, the Kelty Hearts who win by seven goals to nil. And yeah, I was just doing my outro when I was told that now is the time I can come on the pitch because of the new regulations. I don't think they can let you on until afterwards these days. But yes, here I am now on the pitch finally at Kelty Hearts on the uh, artificial turf here. You know me, I love to see if it's real or artificial, the old pitches these days. But yes, I'm now on the pitch and what a commanding performance it was from Kelty Hearts. 7-0 and yeah, they march on to yet another league title here at this level. Please do leave a like on this video download one football please do it because yeah you're supporting my channel if you do and i would really really appreciate it if you could download the app it's completely free and you'll love it i promise please do drop me a comment if you're a kelty hearts fan or want me to go to another ground next but yes until the next one oh yeah and subscribe as well cheers but yes until the next one from the penalty spot at kelty hearts goodbye